This is the most controversial video I will make. And it's about Israel and Palestine. And more than 10 million people have asked for this video. So here it is with no filters. And I hope you watch to the end. I'm going to take you on a journey to finally understand my Israel and my Palestine. My Israel, my Palestine. In 1992, God gave me the greatest gift in the world, to be born in the most controversial place on earth. Inside of Israel, to a Palestinian family. Yes, 20% of Israel is not Jewish. It is made of people like me, Muslim, Arab, Palestinian, for generations, but born under the Israeli government with an Israeli identity and passport. I wish I was born in Denmark instead with blonde hair and blue eyes, but I wasn't. My unique, controversial background helped me see things not many people can see. For one, I saw what Palestinians see. I was called a terrorist by a 15-year-old Jewish girl. I was almost attacked by an Israeli soldier. Relax. 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 And I was stuck at checkpoints for hours. I saw what Israelis see. I saw rockets fall on Israel. I hid in a bomb shelter with Israeli friends and I saw Jews afraid for their life. I opened my Facebook and I saw my Palestinian friend who lost his innocent cousin from an Israeli airstrike. I scroll and I see my Israeli friend who lost his brother from a Palestinian who stabbed him in the back. Outside of the conflict, I saw Palestinians <laughs> living in refugee camps just because they're Palestinian. Where are you from? We are Palestinian. I saw Jews kicked out of the Middle East just because they're Jewish. What's in common with everything you saw? Suffering, pain, anger. Suffering, pain, It exists on both sides. Both sides. And no one can deny that. No one. Suffering, pain, anger. You know, a lot of people want to see Israel disappear. I don't. I think Israel should exist because it has good people inside of it. And I think Palestine should exist because it has good people inside of it. That's why I think it's not one or the other. And I really don't like it when everybody keeps saying it's one country, it's fake countries. It's, it's a stupid argument. Israel and Palestine is not a game where people get to pick sides and cheer on them from a distance. For you, it's a conflict that's thousands of miles away. But for me, it's life and death. If Israel doesn't exist, that means the death of my family. If Palestine doesn't exist, that means the death of my people. That's why we need two independent countries for two people living side by side in peace with no one dying, not from an airstrike or a knife attack. It's my job and yours to push for a solution that stops the suffering. It's been going for 74 years non-stop. My solution is simple. Bring people together, not apart. This is why we make these videos. This is why we support the many Israelis who want peace and the Palestinians who need peace. We hired six Palestinians in my company and we hired three Israelis too. 
We invested in real estate in Palestine and we invested in tech companies in Israel too. This video is not about me. This is not about Israel or Palestine. This is about every conflict in the world. The extremists on both sides will force you to join them and be them. But you are not them. You are not an extremist who wants to keep the suffering alive. You and I just want a solution. So instead of siding with the extremists, get out of your village and befriend an enemy. You will see what I saw for 30 years. You will see that they want the same things you do. You want a home, you want a job, you want a family. But above all, you just want to live. You know, there's a very sad thing, and there's a very sad thing. I met this like 12 year old kid in one of the two countries. I'm not gonna say which. And he told me, I love your videos because I also want peace. And immediately, the people around him said, No, you can't say that. We want justice for ourselves, and we want to defeat the enemy. One year later, the kid was saying, I want to defeat the enemy. And that was the saddest thing I saw in my life.